Welcome back. It is a medical intervention that's never been tried before. Canadian and American scientists teaming up to deliver urgent care to a young killer whale. As Briar Stewart reports, the very future of orcas on our coast could be at stake. In this video taken last month, the three and a half year old orca known as J50 swims alongside her mother. They are two of the remaining southern resident whales, a group that's critically endangered. Scientists know she's malnourished because they've tracked her development through aerial photos, and they also fear she's very sick. At this point in time, we don't have accurate diagnostics. You can just sort of imagine the logistics of trying to figure out what's wrong with a whale from a distance and a whale that you don't actually even observe that often. But there's a desperate effort underway to save her. Scientists from the U.S. and Canada are trying to take what's being called an unprecedented step. They plan to get as close as they can to the whale and use a dart to inject antibiotics, all while trying not to disturb the rest of the pod. We're now down to 75 whales in this population, and we just can't afford to lose another female from this population because they really are so essential. Over the past few days, the scientists were hampered by poor weather. What makes it more complicated is that these whales swim back and forth between waters in the U.S. and in Canada. Well, the Americans could move ahead with the antibiotic plan right away. If the whale was in Canadian waters, the scientists had to hold off until today, when the government issued special permits allowing them to act. Human intervention um, is something that we bring to the table only as a measure of last resort. We, we don't really want to play, be playing God with Mother Nature. Peter Ross is head of research with the Vancouver Aquarium. He says because the southern residents are endangered, governments have to be diligent about letting scientists get close. In a perfect world where uh, habitat is clean, uh, the ocean is free from noise and disturbance, uh, and there's abundance of food, these killer whales would be doing just fine, thank you very much. But they're not, which is why two countries are going to great lengths now to try and save a whale whose entire population is under threat. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver. Meanwhile, another orca in the same pod is grieving its calf in a display that has captured the intention of the entire world. She's known to scientists as J35. For the past 16 days, she's been carrying the body of her dead calf. While such behavior has been seen in orcas before, Scientists say they've never witnessed one carry their calf for such a long time. Scientists say they're not concerned about J35 as she is still eating, but they will continue to monitor her closely to ensure she stays in good health.